Hello, everybody. Uh, let me get you first a uh, very quick show of hands. How many of you are downloading packages, Go packages from GitHub? Let me show your hands. All right, this talk is going to be for you. So uh, first things first, um, let's get this out of the door. I'm not a lawyer, so everything I'm going to say in this presentation does not represent legal advice, yada, yada, yada. I think you know the drill. So um, let's get this out of the way and start uh, getting busy. So imagine yourself at work. So you're working on your Go code base, you're kicking ass left and right, you're working on a new super cool product which happens to be written entirely in Go, and your code base is growing, you and your team are making strides, and, but you're adding external packages at the same rate, right? You're bringing in great packages that you find on GitHub, on, you know, on GitLab, on Bigbucket, they make your life easier, everything is super easy, using a dependency manager tool, you can be happier. And you have the release date of your product that is approaching, everything looks solid, but the legal review comes in. And the legal team has a very strong opinion on the licensing of the external code you're leveraging. Because the nature of Go applications, they want to make sure you're not bringing licenses they don't like. And they want a list of every license that your packages are using. And they want to vet every single package that is not compliant with a specific set of licenses that they like. And suddenly, you turn into this. And you feel like this now. And I mean, I've been there before. <laughs> so how do you make this thing easy for you and your team? Well, uh, so in our experience is you have to stop one very dangerous thing that happens when you're developing, which is license creep. I'm pretty sure that this happens to everybody. So you need to do something. Uh, you don't really feel like writing a package for it. Let's say like parsing YAML files. Uh, so you turn to Google, or you turn to GitHub, you find a package, you add it to your vendor list, you start building your feature using it, and then when the legal review comes in, legal vets the code, package unfortunately has an incompatible license, and you have to get rid of it, and then you have to build your feature from scratch again. I mean, it's not like there are no packages around that might pose a licensing problem to your product. I mean, it's not even just redistribution, even compatibility between licenses as well. I mean, just look at the screenshot. It was taken last night. There are more than 2,200 Golang projects on GitHub that are licensed on GPL2, which is fine by itself, but those packages will end up compiling to your binary. And it's going to be a hairy problem if you're writing a commercial software that is proprietary. And I know that there are variants of the GPL2 that might allow an explicit exception for Go projects, but lawyers avoid clauses like that that are not proven in court, and you know, they're not really comfortable in doing that. So as you can see by now, it's a problem I had before. So um, uh, the team and I built a very tiny little program that we called What Will Henry Rollins Do, because we're a punk rock fan, or in short, WWHRD. Or we call it just Henry, because you know, it's easier. Uh, it's a very small tool. Uh, it just scans your vendor folder, checks the licenses of the dependency that you have against a whitelist, blacklist, and exception list that you write in a YAML file. And it's meant to be used in your CI environment. So what you do is you run your check-in through this, it will check the licenses, and it will catch license creep very early on. Uh, this is actually coming from my CI, um, Travis. So you can install it with GoGet. You can use it right away in your project root. You run WWHRD check. Uh, that will scan the licenses. It will compare them against the list that you specified in the WWHRD YAML file. And if there doesn't, there's something that doesn't sound right, uh, it will check. The, flow, the check will fail, and the CI run will fail with it. So at the very end, you can be like this panda. Just be like this panda, please. Uh, it's my spirit animal. Thank you all.